Hmm. Hey guys, I'm going to talk about the AMD Radeon R9 290X. And I've been quite excited for this card. I think I might actually pick one up to replace my current setup, which I will show in a little bit. Let's go over some specs which people want to see. There are 2,816 stream processors. That's almost 3,000. That's really hefty. Um, there's 4 gigs worth of RAM, which they did announce because I've been watching the live feed, but they're talking about audio currently, and I'm not really that bothered about audio, to be honest with you. It's quite important, but it's not the biggest thing for me. There's definitely 4 gigs worth of RAM, they said that. Uh, they didn't say anything about 6 gigs models, I don't know where that is. And, yeah, they show this. I haven't shown any, like, spec slides. I was watching it when these, when, when this guy was talking, I forgot his name. Uh, and the reference design looks kind of like a kind of like a matrix card almost like an Asus matrix card about the fancy flashing lights uh, they did announce for a limited time that you get Battlefield 4 with it and I think that also includes some other never settled bundles uh, 300 gigabytes memory bandwidth which is uh, pretty hefty, it's more than Titan I do believe correct me if I'm wrong and then they're talking about pillars and that kind of thing um, this thing's a bit wrong because, no, they've corrected it in the last 10 seconds. That did say 288, this guy's correcting it very quickly. Uh, I didn't see anything mentioned about price, um, although they did say it would be the best price point, so probably is about that kind of price. Um, to my personal thoughts on this so far, uh, this is great for us, um, because a, um, AMD haven't released anything in almost two years. I mean, high-end wise, they've refreshed their products, but nothing new's come out. And I think this will be enough to uh, make Nvidia think about their pricing. Um, I'm currently running, which you can't see. Oh, there it goes. Two GeForce GTX 670s, which I've had for a year. I'm very happy with the graphics cards, but they always kind of felt like as if they were supposed to be lower-end models because. If you look at the PCB, they're only like half height, well not half height, half length, and that kind of gives me the idea that these were supposed to be, I don't know, GTX 650s or something, <laughs> and uh, we got cheaped out because AMD hadn't released anything yet. And I think in this graphic card, is kind of like their second coming of the 4870. And you guys who used to have one of these know that this put um, NVIDIA on the ropes. This put the GTX 280, you know, that lowered all the prices of the GTX 280s. These things absolutely smashed it. They were great performers, especially in Crossfire. Very, very hot cards, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think this one's actually artifacting because someone put this inside a case which was too small and it overheated. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the R9... 90X is literally the second coming of the 4870 in the way that it made NVIDIA wake up and think crap they've got something good anyway guys thanks for watching um, please uh, thumbs up if you can and maybe subscribe and I might make some more videos thanks oh and also I've also pre-ordered the new Cosmos case, uh, Cosmos SE, and yeah, I do believe, I believe that's coming out in the meantime November, but I have pre-ordered it, I've already paid for it, which was nice of them to do that for me, um, so as soon as it's available I will be unboxing that and giving it a little bit of a, re a review. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, goodbye.